After the Italian financial crisis, Italy ran out from Eurozone and in a very short time Italian people lost the use of their currency and the crime rate raises 900%. On one hand, the Eurozone and the other countries decide to face off the crisis, so they join into the United States of Europe. On the other hand, Italy and Greece remain alone in front of their destiny. Actually, a giant containment wall is erected and completely surrounds the North Italian and Greek mountains. All routes and bridges are mined. The sea are patrolled by the United States Europe Navy, simply to protect the commercial routes. The United States Europe Army is encamped at Knorr along the Italian and the Greek Peninsula, and everything seems under control, they think. The fact is nobody knows what happened in Greece and in Italy after the financial disaster. No more airplanes lifted off from the countries. No tourists or journalists came out alive. No phone, no radio, no internet, nothing of nothing. Only few Italian boat people escaped from Italy. They told there aren't no more democratic institutions in the country. Italy looked like a sort of giant maximum security prison where tears, fears, blood are everywhere and there were many apocalyptic plays that Italian people made in their own country. So, for who wants to visit these countries, United States Europe rules are simple. Once you go in, you don't come out and nobody will help you. Now, few men must go in where no man has ever got out. It's an accurate reconnaissance to evaluate the situation where the beginning of the Europe's nightmare is just begun. A long run versus time because climate change is ticketing and Carthago's troops are skyrocketing in South Italy and Greece and nobody knows why and what are their intentions. A big adventure into a near possible future. If you want to know more about that, you have to read it in Italian language. New Middle Age is waiting for you.